All right, so I was not around pretty much the whole weekend. I get back online today. Now, mind you, I wasn't able to get on Twitter. I wasn't able to see any of the free agency news. I get on Twitter today, and I see that Kevin Durant signed with the Warriors. Whoa. Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant, Draymond, 2K17 might get kind of wild. Golden State out here running with a my team line, though. They have a chance. I don't know, just speaking regular season wise, if everything goes great, I might be hype beasting it right now, but they they can get 70 wins again. Like what the So Kevin Durant leaves OKC, which I thought there was a chance of him going back for at least another year, right? But as soon as Abaka got traded, that's when I was kinda like, okay, KD might be out of there. He might be gone. Trading Abaka for Ola Depot. Ola Depot, nothing against my man's Ola Depot. Ain't the wave though. That's not the wave if you want KD to stay. So KD was talking to a lot of teams. I kind of figured it would really come down to Golden State or San Antonio for him. Because KD doesn't really strike me as I want my own team type of person. I figured he probably just like me on pro and like I hey he probably just want to win. So that's what he's doing with Golden State. And a lot of people are upset. A lot of people are mad. Well, you gotta remember that. You're not playing in the NBA. You won't be playing against Golden State. So you're going to be all right. Not that big of a deal. But I definitely understand because, well, actually, I just understand, period. I mean, it's the way the league is now. That That's what everybody's doing. It's the wave and everybody got the surfboard out. Boston started that, John. The LeBron with D-Wade. I mean, Melo. Nah, Melo and D-Rose don't really count, huh? I guess they can count. But either way, it's the wave right now, and that's what everybody is doing. Everybody just want to win. And if you're not trying to win, I mean, you can go be a hero and hold those L's. But you're also holding those chits, so I can't be mad at that either. But really, I kind of like the OKC team. It, it's kind of like the Golden State team in the sense that it was built through drafting. And I respect that. But back to KD. If you're KD, do you pass up that chance to play with the Warriors? I don't know. Part of me is saying, I mean, it's the Warriors. I'm trying to get a ring real quick. Might as well play with them. But I have, I mean, I'm just talking about personally. I'm too competitive for it. And that's why it kind of bothers me when people are saying, oh, KD and LeBron, they're the same people. They did the exact same thing. No, they did not. Here's what I think about the LeBron thing. GM wasn't going to help him. And he kept getting beat. He kept getting beat every year. And then he got beat by that Boston team. And he was sick of it. Teamed up with Wade, Bosch, and they, they did their thing, you know? But the KD thing is different from the LeBron thing. Now, if LeBron went and teamed up with the Celtics, then it would be the same as the KD thing. I think that's the main problem. KD just lost to these dudes. And so he goes and joins their team instead of beating them. And like I said before, if I'm KD, I'm low-key trying to think, you know, do I pass up on playing with the Warriors? But at the same time, it's just like, yo, I still want to beat them dudes. But we'll see what happens. I mean, obviously, everybody's already saying it. Warriors got the chip locked up next year. And it's kind of hard not to say it. But, ah, oh, man, it's going to be tough to defend that team. They already got Clay and Stealth running off screens. Now you add KD to the mix. Bruh, that's OD. That's going to be super OD. Like, how we get here, fam? A lot of people are saying, well, Kevin Durant should have stayed loyal. You got to remember, NBA is a business, yo. It's been proven time and time again that these organizations will not be loyal to their players. So should the players stay loyal to the organization? I guess it depends. I mean, Dallas and Dirk has a great thing going on. Kobe in LA, great thing going on. But look at what Miami is doing to D-Wade. You see why D-Wade trying to get up out of there? 10 mil a year? 10 mil, my man D-Wade. I mean, I know he he kind of getting up during basketball years, right? But he was hooping last season. And at the end of his career, he probably wanted to cash out since he's never really been paid like that on Miami. So it all depends, yo. Yeah, you can say people should stay loyal, but I don't know. The players, they're definitely going to look out for themselves. They have to. They have to. That's what Kevin Durant did. And it is what it is. I mean, I've learned to just kind of accept it because people are going to do what they're going to do. And that's just the way it goes. 
But next year is definitely gonna be interesting. What will Wade do? What is New York gonna look like? Warriors, bruh. Warriors. Y'all know y'all wrong for that one. That That is wrong though, I ain't gonna lie. The Cavaliers, looking like they're staying the same. They lost Moss Golf, they lost Delhi. But I mean, Moss Golf and Delhi? <laughs> I know they, they was putting in mad work, right? Cavs to be all right. They got that one dude, uh, who is this? Little something, little something. Yeah, yeah, I heard he was pretty good. So next season is gonna be pretty wild. Oh man, I don't even know what's gonna happen. Either way, I'll hug you all later. Peace.